affordable housing isn't a new one. The demand has become even more extreme after the pandemic, too. Our Lexi Lepoff met with community organizations that are working together to find a solution. Housing in Knoxville is limited, especially for properties with a reasonable price tag. Trying to find a place to live is really hard when you're low income um, in Knoxville, Tennessee. The high demand is outweighing limited supply. It's 840 families, not people, families on our waiting list waiting for a Section 8 voucher, some type of housing assistance or public housing assistance. And even with vouchers, no options. People are getting vouchers, but they can't find a place to take vouchers. Um, places that have apartment complexes, people that own those are getting market rate. They can get a whole lot more money because the, the cost of housing is there and they can charge more. Multiple organizations are teaming up to help. Federation of Appalachian Housing Enterprises, or FAHI, is applying for a state grant to help fund housing projects. 88 units that we're doing um, is a $30 million project, which is crazy um, to think about the cost. Knoxville Leadership Foundation says that their $30 million project is just a drop in the pocket towards the thousands more units they need to address the demand. President Chris Martin says the issue can only be attacked with teamwork. The more agencies, the more organizations that can work together, um, it helps begin to carry the, the load of trying to meet that need. Fahi is also rehabbing existing homes to create more options. In Knoxville, Lexi Lepoff, WVLT News. More details on all the organizations involved in the Fahi Collective is all right now in your WVLT News app.